Warning, this video contains spoilers for the Boruto anime. If you are an anime only person, leave now. Let's do this then. Ever since Boruto Manga Chapter 1 had dropped, where Boruto and a mysterious shinobi named Kawaki faced off, and when Kawaki said these words, I will be sending you to meet the set. That spawned a lot of videos saying that Naruto and Sasuke probably died. And I know a lot of people are like saying, you know, that Boruto is supposed to, you know, like take over where Naruto left off and they're going to kill off Naruto and Sasuke and that might trigger Boruto to get some new type of power. But I personally believe that there is no way that they're going to kill Naruto and Sasuke off. Because if you remember with Boruto, the movie, they did a trailer where it showed that same exact scene where Naruto sacrificed himself. You know to stop the it, it looked like a biju bomb but it wasn't actually a biju bomb it was like a chakra bomb i'll call it now when naruto stopped it everyone at that moment said that that was where in the trailer that that was where naruto was going to die and and then you know like once you finish watching the movie the dude doesn't die he was just captured that was all and then they just started extracting um, nine tails chopper out of him so that is the reason that's one of the reasons why I believe that they're probably going to pull a stunt similar to that where Kawaki had said that he'll be sending Boruto to meet the seventh meaning Kawaki thinks he he killed Naruto now the what happens to Sasuke is not known but since he's not there at that given point in time it's already speculated that Sasuke is dead too so here's my thing about it the re and and here's the full analysis on why i don't think that they're going to go ahead and kill them off i'm going to start with the character popularity polls that were released in on manga chapter 531 and it ranks naruto sasuke as well as kakashi hatake as the three most popular characters in the naruto franchise and this poll is not it this poll is from reddit and it's not i'm not going to say it's official but these are just what a hand pick of people are saying that you know who their favorite character is which is sarda uchiha some of some of the other characters from the old age as well as mitsuki and boruto coming in fourth now kishimoto said in it tech post he said that i plan to make Boruto even better than Naruto and then he goes on to say this year in 2017 when they asked him for Boruto because of everything that's already been done with Naruto you can't help but have some things will be repeated so I worry about the story being so similar and with Naruto and Sasuke becoming so strong and the battles getting bigger and bigger now you have kids fighting, so the scale is going to feel smaller. I don't want it to feel lacking, so the focus needs to be on expressing things differently or coming up with new ideas. Those, those issues concern me. Now, Kishimoto is not, you know, like writing the Boruto manga, but Boruto manga or anime. But he is overseeing the development of it. And 
Now, when he had said new ideas, we have seen in Boruto Manga Chapter 10 where Boruto gets this new type of mark. That mark, we don't know what it is. A lot of people are saying curse mark, but the reason why I'm not saying curse mark, curse mark is linked to Orochimaru. So, um, so until they give it a real canonical, I'm not going to call it a curse mark. I'm just going to call it a mark from the Otsutsuki clan. Because until we get a proper name for it, there's no reason for us to give it a curse mark name. Because how do we know that it's a curse? And just to keep going, I asked a lot of you all, like, why the hate on Boruto? Like, what is y'all reason? A lot of y'all came back and said that, one, y'all hate the fact that they're doing it the way that they're doing it. And Run Edge said, I watch Naruto for Naruto. Now here's the problem. The writers are trying the hardest to try to make Boruto stronger than Naruto. He already has a curse mark, but might get a Tenseigon already. So I guess they can close the curtains on the two characters who actually work for their power. Actually put time and effort for it just for some cheap kid that just got owned that just got two overpowered things handed to him like it was Christmas gift. Now guys, keep in mind the Tensei God is not confirmed, but when um Momoshiki had told Oruto, your blue eyes will take everything from you. That is to speculate, you know, a lot of things like the Tensei God. But like I said, a lot of people are more worried about Boruto becoming too OP in order to in order for him to surpass Naruto. Naruto as well as Sasuke, those two are basically the new gods of the Shinobi world. And they should be. They took on Kaguya, they took on Madara, and they have taken on the Otsutsuki. I know Boruto, you know, like he did the he was the one that threw the giant Rasengan at Moshiki. But if it wasn't because of Naruto helping him out, giving him some of his power, just like how Goku as well as Vegeta helped their sons out to do, you know, like their signature moves. That's what Naruto did with Boruto. So, in retrospect, Boruto didn't defeat Momoshiki. It was Naruto and Boruto together that defeated Momoshiki. So, that is the reason why I'm saying, like, I know that they are currently pushing Boruto to surpass his dad, but there is like no type of way. The fandom, if they kill off Naruto and Sasuke, y'all already know every one of y'all would have erupt. Y'all would say, no, no, now this series should be canceled because you can take 20 years of a, of a franchise and just say his son is going to take over. That doesn't make any sense. Boruto needs to work his way up. Just because we love Naruto doesn't mean we're going to love his son. We're going to love some of the things of it, but that's not enough. And they probably already know that that's not enough for them to just say he's going to take over where Naruto left off. He's going to, you know, like blow up. That's not the case. They need to give Boruto a lot more time, probably, you know, like from Boruto, Naruto, Next Generation. They all have to like show us like key character development. Now he gives this kid like OP powers, I mean he's, he's eventually going to get them, but giving him OP powers right off deck, that's not going to help him. Now I know that they stressed we're not going to, he's going to be someone totally different than his dad. They kept stressing that, even Kakashi the last said it himself and said, I personally hate the manga because it's rehashed the movie and the art style to him was trash. Luckily it got better, but still it has been almost a year since the manga started and we are just now starting to get new stuff. As with anime, we personally, as a community, we're fine with Boruto the movie being the end of Naruto. And now there's going to be more. Filler is going to be a big aspect of the anime since the manga is monthly and there are only two guidance that are relatively short. And those guidance he's talking about is Naruto Gaiden as well as um, I believe the Mitsuki one, the Mitsuki guy did. Uh, also, Boruto is a basic copy of Naruto, but his goal is different, and that is the only difference. Uh, that's the only difference. I don't like him because he keeps saying I'm not Naruto, yet he keeps acting like him. That's where it comes to like father, like son. And the final comment off of that video. Rafu says, I don't really hate Boruto, I just hate how similar to Naruto he is. Hopefully that changes later on in the manga. So guys, that's what I'm saying. They need to 
they need more character development on Boruto. I don't think that he should, you know, like get all these type of powers, you know, to put him on even grounds as Naruto and Sasuke. He'll need to go through the same type of training. It'll definitely be different than the way Naruto and Sasuke brought because, you know, they got technology now. So who knows? They might have a hyperbolic time chamber. I know I'm throwing in a lot of Dragon Ball Z references, but this is a new age at this point. There's no more like, you know, like artificial training, what they used to do like back in natural training, like what they did back in the old days. Now it's new technology that, that paves the way for the training. But guys, also, if I can close on this, Naruto, the Naruto franchise isn't the number one in Japan. And a lot of other series are. Here are the top selling media franchises in Japan in 2015. And these series are Attack on Titan, One Piece, The Seven Deadly Sins, Love Live, Kingdom, Haikuyu, Mobile Suit Gundam, Assassination Classroom, The Idol Master, Tokyo Ghoul, Yokai Watch, Fate Series, and coming in at 13 is Naruto. But guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Operatives, move out.